Uh, Steph Curry. LeBron, Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan. Uh, Golden State Warriors. Yeah, Golden State Warriors. Lakers, um, Clippers, Bulls, Timberwolves. Three pointers. Hello boys and girls, hello mommies and daddies. Welcome to another episode of Learning with Daddy Henry. My name is Henry. My name is Charlie. And my name is Emma. And he's our daddy. That's me. Yay, it's finally time for us to talk about sports. Let's start with my favorite. Everyone please say basketball. Basketball, basketball. basketball. Yes, I love basketball so much, I even play center for my school team in junior high. It's because everybody that went out for the team got in, and our daddy was already 175 centimeters in seventh grade. He hadn't grown much since. Thanks. Thanks, girls. That's the last time I tell you two any secrets. Anyways, let's talk about some of the basics of basketball. Everyone, please say dribble. 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 Dribble is bouncing the ball with one hand without stopping while moving. You can't keep dribbling once the ball is stopped and picked up with both hands. It's called double dribble and it's also against the rules. Good job, Amal. Okay, go toward the back seat. Okay, now, once the ball is stopped, you have a couple of options. One is to, everyone, please say, pass the ball. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Very good. Passing the ball is to move the ball between players by throwing it to the other person. A good passer is really important in the game. Everybody loves the behind-the-back pass and also the no-look pass. Another option you have after ball is stopped is to shoot the ball. Everyone, please say, shoot the ball. Shoot the ball, shoot the ball. That's right, shooting the ball is how you score points in basketball. It's basically throwing the ball up and putting it into the basket. Each basket is usually two points. Yes, there are many different ways to score and keep points in basketball. We'll talk about one of them right now. Now, what if you're shooting the ball and the person from the other team is using their bodies against you? Everybody, please say foul. Foul, foul. Yes, fouls are very common and also very dangerous in basketball. Everyone, please be careful. Basketball is the professional sport with the most injuries. A person gets out of the game if he fails over five times. That's right. Now, this is when the point changes. If somebody fouls you when you're shooting the ball or trying to make a basket, well, then you get to make, everyone, please say, free throws. Free throws, free throws. Very good. A player has to stand behind the free throw line when they're trying to make a free throw. An NBA player is expected to make 75% of free throws. Each free throw is one point. Very good. And now for some other ways to score in basketball. For the most basic one, everyone please say layup. Lay up, lay up. Mm -hmm. Now, mommies and daddies, if, you could, if you're reading the translation, you know I'm a big fan of the Japanese comic book. Most players spend the most time on their layups. It's pretty embarrassing if you miss it without nobody guarding you. Okay, so now if you're getting really good at your layups and you could get your hand above the rim, it's time for one of the most exciting moves in sports. Everyone, please say slam dunk. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Oh, so English name for one of my favorite comic books. The slam dunk contest is one of the most watched events every year. 
college basketball banned him for nine years is because Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Okay, now for something that has changed basketball in recent years. Everyone, please say three pointers. Three pointers. Three pointers. I'm sure you could uh, tell by our shirts that we're really big fans of three pointers. The distance from the three point line is 7.24 meters. The most three pointers that's ever made in one game is 13 by this guy. Okay, it is also very important to get the ball back if someone misses it, right? Everyone, please say, rebound. Rebound, rebound. Sakuraki, Hamichi, Tentai! An offensive rebound can give your team another chance at scoring. You don't have to be taller. It's more about where you're standing. Okay, well, our next word for today is not really a uh, Chinese or English. It's more of a sound that you hear when you're playing basketball. Everyone, please say swish. 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 That's right. Now, when you make a basket without touching the rim and it falls right in, that's the sound you hear from the net. Swish. Okay, now before we go, there is one more thing that I would like to talk to you about if you watch the NBA. Our daddy is from Los Angeles. His favorite city is San Francisco. Yes, I grew up in California. I'm from Los Angeles and my fa one of my favorite cities is San Francisco. And you could tell by the cap and the jersey and the clippers. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so torn. I don't know what to do. Please tell me which team I should cheer for and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Thank you all once again for watching Learning with Daddy Henry. We hope you had a good time. I know we did. And if you like this video, please remember to click like, subscribe, share, and follow. And please leave a comment down below to let us know what you think, okay? All right, once again, my name is Henry. My name is Charlie. And my name is Emma. And, and he's, he's our daddy. daddy. That's me. Now let's do the... <laughs>